Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. All right, NAB coverage continues, and uh, we're still here at the Ross booth. And I want to I want to have Nigel walk us through some really really cool f- control features now for the Carbonite. As we know, the Carbonite has lots of physical control surfaces. You've got what six now available yes. um, that you can choose from. So everything from you know the small Carbonite 10 control panel all the way up to big 2ME control panels and all that. But for helping volunteers understand the complexities of switching video and bringing keys on air and doing animated transitions and all that, that can be a challenge. And you guys have come up with, I think, a fantastic system for making that easy. So why don't you kind of walk us through what we have here? Sure. So uh, what we have here is something we call view control. It's a standard feature of all carbonites. Everybody gets it when they get a carbonite. Um, It's actually a combination of carbonite and dashboard. So dashboard is our GUI control system that runs on PC, Mac, or Linux. Um, And so what you're looking at over on this screen is actually a multi-viewer output, but it has an overlay on it, which comes, we overlay it inside the switcher, and the overlay comes from dashboard. So you can build um, uh, all of the elements of your production, including pro presenter uh, elements, and then they become simply a touch screen application so as you said earlier you know this is is totally cool I can just touch the screen and I can see what I'm getting so it's visual control for the production and so I mean it's it's anything that anything that I want to do I can do it right on the touch screen it's got to be set up by a good tech guy in the first place but now I can give it to a volunteer and show them how to run it and I can teach them how to run this probably in a quarter of the time or less than I can a panel and of course we all know that volunteers you know volunteers are what they are they're going to learn something and then they move away or something happens and the turnover is quite high so this makes it easier uh, and we did we actually have done something else which uh, which was really cool for uh, for volunteer operation so um, in our dashboard system now you can actually build your own control panel so I actually have a church that we've been using this at and uh, we sat down and it probably took 15 minutes and we built a simple control surface with like eight buttons on it with nice names on the buttons and we put it on a MacBook Pro on Wi-Fi gave it to front of house to a volunteer and they switched the screens with that program. They don't need to know what's going on under the hood. You do. You have to build it. But once you've built it, easy. And I can build any kind of operation control I need on that system. It's so flexible and and I can include ProPresenter in it. (laughs) Which is pretty fantastic. And and even this is fairly customizable. You can can kind of put what you want, where you want it, and and you don't have to have it this busy. I mean, obviously you're showing a the breadth of what it can control, but it could be much, much simpler for a smaller situation where you just, you know, you want to have your your input sources, maybe some keys and stuff like that. Yeah. Just just what you need up there, so it's very accessible to a volunteer. Yeah, absolutely, and and certainly again, our our church uh, customers, uh, you know, they 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 they've sat here and looked at this and gone, oh yeah, I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> Thank, thank you, finally. <laughs> and it's cool because I know we, we talked about doing some of this stuff last year at NAB, and you had kind of the beginnings of just being able to control the media stores and some of those kind of things on there. And, you know, last year you said, this is coming. Yes. And so a year later, here it is. And it's a free upgrade if it's you're an existing Carbonite yes, offer. That's, that's, that, that's the other, I think, for our customers. I mean, our, our intent is to, you know, providing we can do it without it costing us money. Um, you know, we want to give... Uh, our customers the uh, ability to just succeed at what they do and um, you know we know that everybody in worship I mean let's face it they've all had to struggle for for years use purp- repurposing product that's not designed for the application so what we're trying to do is learn the application and gradually add features that are much more suitable for a worship production yeah, and so this is a great product. Um, if you have a Carbonite, you certainly need to download the new versions of the software to get a hold of this. this is, is this out now? It is. Uh, the current version that's on the website is 7.1, and that is included in 7.1. However, in probably 10 days from now, we will launch 7.2, and that has some yet more features, which also simplify control. So, you know, maybe you want to wait 10 days, but 7.1's there right now. 
Very cool. So, yeah, if you've got a Carbonite, you definitely want to do this. And if you're looking at a switcher, again, this it's another reason to look at Carbonite because um, even if you don't necessarily need all of the power that the Carbonite offers, having a feature like this, it just makes so much sense. Yeah. So um, you definitely want to take a look at it at uh, rossvideo.com is their website. Yeah. And uh, look at the whole lineup and uh, see what you can do. So thanks, Nigel. Thank you, Mike. It's always a pleasure. Yeah.